Good afternoon, Cancer. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. <laughs> that was my fault. Um, because I hit the thing with my leg. Alright, so, besides the disturbance, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. My name is Tyler. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. Alright, so, Cancer, how are you guys feeling? You guys... I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like uh, you guys are, you're calm, you're peaceful, like you, you know what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. That's how I feel for cancer right now. Um, but either way, you know what is needed of you and you know what your responsibilities are, basically. All right. Um. So this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, let's get right into the overall energies. All right. So you have the Hermit card, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Both in reverse. So you may just uh be, you know, by yourself a little bit. And just, you know, just wanting to seek knowledge and explore depths that you've never really explored before. All right. You're not really taking action towards anything. In fact, like you're not really thinking about taking action towards anyone at this moment in time. You're kind of just, you're wanting to be by yourself and just do things that, um, you know, that you would normally do, but by yourself, you know. Yeah, you're releasing some type of burden. It could be a, um, you could just be, like, releasing a few people and focusing on work, you know, trying to get your money up. But it, this Knight of Pentacles, it's on the slowest moving horse in the deck, you know. the It's the slowest moving you know, night in the deck, you know, it's not moving at all. Like, it's kind of at a halt right now. So, money just may be, like, stagnant for you. Uh, but the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. So, you do have luck on your side. So, whatever it is, uh, money-wise, you could be just getting a new job. Um, But you are very fortunate at this time. And things are going to are looking good for you all right yeah there's no action anything but relationship wise um things are definitely looking good for you for sure um you're kind of just walking away from something you're walking away from all the stress because you don't want anything to stress you out you just want to be by yourself and to Really just focus on what makes you happy and what uh, is going to satisfy your needs, all right? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, Virgo, uh, Aquarius, or a Taurus. Yeah, a Taurus. But either way, or Gemini, but either way... You have a lot of options. Like, even though there's no options, like, on the board, you do have options. You're just not really aware of them. Or you are aware of them. They just aren't showing up on the board or in the spread right now. But I can definitely feel all the options that you have. Like, a lot of people are looking at you. And even if they aren't, like, romantic options, but you do have the lover here. The lover's here, so... There is some sort of romantic relationship thing going on between you and someone else, but there may they may not take action towards you right away. They may want to just slowly creep in and then get you once it's at like the perfect time. All right. Um. But uh, yeah, let's. 
yeah, you're kind of holding your money tight. That was at the bottom of the deck. You're not taking action to grow your money, but you're also holding your money tight. So you have no way to make money. So you could be definitely looking for a job for sure. So if you want to make more money, you have to put yourself out there to make more money, Cancer. You know, money isn't just going to, like, fall on your lap overnight, you know. Like, if you want money, then, you know, you're going to have to manifest money. You're going to have to have some sort of income coming in in order to gain more money, in order to not feel like the four of pentacles. All right. All right. So we're using the Gaia Oracle cards right now. Let's see what Gaia has to say for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. And if you are resonating with this video so far, please like, comment, and subscribe. That way I know you are enjoying the video. And if you enjoy my content, uh, subscribe so you are always informed on when I upload a new video, all right? So, whoa, that's too many cards. Yang and Yang. Yeah, you're bringing a lot of balance and creating harmony through balance uh, at this moment in time. You, you don't want, I feel like your energy is very, like, calming, like, very nurturing to it to an extent like you're kind of balancing out any karmas or you may just like have no karma at all so you're just enjoying the good karma that's coming your way because you've already dealt with all the bad karma that you were dealing with before and you're not not really trying to have any more bad karma come towards you so you're just enjoying the good karma and expressing all that goodness even though there is bad in every good so and there's always good in every bad, so it's kind of mixes itself up and, you know, makes everything perfect. <laughs> Moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing, and reflection. Yeah, so you could be reflecting on the past a little bit, but you're definitely healing from it because every time you look back in the past and, like, on any, like, old wound, it's going to heal. If you don't look back at it, you're not healing from it. You're just letting it be and, you know, you won't heal, all right? The hidden path, the marriage of spirit and matter. So for some of you, you could be getting engaged or married in the month of October or November because November is pretty close to now. But either way, um, that's kind of a huge jump since you don't really have any relationships cards in here besides the lover's card which is kind of like they can be your yin and yang you know like you could be their yin and they are your yang you know whatever you guys just balance each other out and because you balance each other out you kind of just want to be together all the time and so you may just rush into a marriage but make when like, I don't feel like this, because I feel like the, there will be roots, and you guys will be grounded, but don't rush into a marriage right away. Make sure there's a stable foundation, and that you have roots, and roots, and roots to just grow, and grow, and grow. That way, you don't turn into the tower card, and you just start, the tower just falls, and breaks down into a million pieces because you don't want a tower moment you want a ten of pentacles or a um, ten of cups that's what you want that's what you desire cancer all right so let's see what cards the moonology deck has for cancer some moon venus and rising sign what moonology cards what does Spirit of the Moon have to say for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? 
What does Spirit of the Moon have to say for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? What does Spirit of the Moon have to say for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? All right, so communication is key. So communicate everything to this person. If you really want to be with this person, tell them that. Tell them, talk to this person. Don't hide your feelings um, with this person because nothing is yet set in stone. So you can have this new beginning, this great, you know, happy ending with this person. But there's also a chance if you don't communicate with this person, then nothing will happen and there won't be any type of, you know, marriage or happiness for you because you didn't communicate with this person. You didn't, you know, treat them the way that you normally would because you were scared to, you know, take action to move forward with this person. All right. So I hope this resonated with this with you guys that's going to be it for the video i hope you guys resonate with the video um i'm that's going to be it and namaste